Have you ever noticed that your glucose varies from one reading to the next? It could be due to some small inconsistencies when preparing for or even while measuring. To make sure your numbers are a little bit more consistent, let's go through some quick tips when you're measuring your blood sugars. The first step is to prepare yourself appropriately before you measure. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and warm water. The blood sample you take is really, really small, so even hands that are just slightly damp can dilute the blood samples, making glucose seem much lower than it actually is. Make sure your hands are completely dry and either use a clean cloth or let them air dry. Do not put lotion or hand cream on your hands until after your measurement is done. Lotions and creams leave a residue leading to extra high or low readings. Choose the appropriate time period in the Unified Care app. Check the fasting blood sugar if you haven't eaten anything at all for the last 12 hours. You'll usually choose pre-meal glucose either if you're taking insulin with the meal and you need to know how much to inject, or if you want to see how your body responds to food and you plan to do a post-meal glucose in two hours. You'll select the post meal if you're taking your glucose within one to three hours after your meal has started, like after your first bite. Strips are kind of sensitive and there's a lot of technology packed in that little tiny piece of plastic. So try to keep in mind three basic things. When opening a new bottle of test strips, write the expiration date on it to keep track of time. Strips are very sensitive to light and moisture and heat and can oxidize very easily. So store them in a place with even dry and cool temperature, like room temperature. And remember that test strips expire in five months. After five months, throw them away. When I'm writing the date on a freshly opened bottle of strips, I'll usually put it on the top with a Sharpie so it's easier to see. For example, today is July 15th, 2022, so I'll write the expiration date directly on the container for five months from now, which is next January. Finally, there are some rules of thumb to follow when taking the measurement, no pun intended. First, read the user manual carefully and follow the instructions to use the lancets and test strips. Throw out old needles and don't reuse them. The more you use the same needle, the more dull the needle becomes. This can make the needle hurt more and can make your fingers also more calloused. Thirdly, hold the middle of the test strip and avoid touching the tip. Holding the chip end or the sample end can contaminate the sample. Don't do that. To collect a blood sample, first gently massage from the bottom of the palm or the finger to get the blood out. Avoid squeezing your finger since this can break the capillaries and leak interstitial fluid into the blood causing a false low reading. Second, make sure your blood sample is a nice round drop, not a smear or a drip. The third thing to remember is that one drop of blood is only good for one test and if you let that drop sit on your finger for too long, the blood properties change. Note that all glucometers are FDA approved for accuracy within 15% and all will have a different algorithm. So don't compare one meter's results to another since they're almost always going to be a little bit different. I hope these tips help you to get a more accurate blood sugar reading. You can also refer to more information and detailed tutorials in our Unified Care app. You can also reach out to our dietitians if you have any questions anytime. Thanks. I hope you like this video. Go ahead and scroll through our website or our Unified Care app for more information about chronic conditions, vitals monitoring, and general nutrition and wellness. See you again soon.